to commercial success. Evolution gathers momentum. A new generation of companies has sprung up to take advantage of the new multimedia environment. Computer technology now enables people to leapfrog from one artistic discipline to another in areas like music, design and filmmaking. These small firms prepared to take creative risks are now attracting interest from big companies anxious to dip a toe into the digital pool. Nicholas Glass reports now what's called the new media and how it's quite different to what's gone before. It's about people and computers, mostly in London, about manipulating sounds and images, about playing, exploring, and if you like, doodling with digital technology. Being new and to do with the media, for a transient moment, it's been given a name, the new media, though not many like the label. But we're all now part of a universe where people are wired, in other words, computer literate, it's not just about sitting in front of a computer screen. You can take it across all these different things. And you can do video, you can do music, you can do computer, you can do the internet, you can do all of these things. And, and it's because the underlying strata now uh, of all of these things is digitized. Um, and you learn one discipline, and suddenly you can learn the others in half the time because the same interfaces are being used. And that's the idea of new media. At the end of the century, young artists, like their forebears, are still fighting for elbow room. But this first floor London garret comes with a bank of computers. The companies of the new media are distinct for a number of reasons. They're small, fluid, democratically run. They say they're not in it for the money. And in some cases, they claim whimsically to make digital art as well. I've got music. Anti-ROM is made up of nine people, most of them recent graduates of a college in West London. They've been experimenting with CD-ROMs. What makes us different is that we can do everything from sound to shooting stuff to writing music um, to then programming it. And it all just comes together. And that we all make it and coordinate it and do it ourselves. There's no sort of middle management or upper structure to sort of clog up the works. Anti-ROM became a company just a year ago but some of the team have been tinkering around with interactive media for five years, which makes them relative veterans. They made their first CD-ROM with the help of a grant from the Arts Council. They're now beginning to find commercial clients for their work. Well, as soon as the rent's paid and you've had some food, you've been on holiday, then it's not about money. <laughs> We make enough money for this company to continue and at the moment that's enough. It's not a real industry yet. It's speculative. Um, people are putting, in, putting money into it because they believe it's going to be something rather than it is something. And that keeps us, our head above water. A sycamore seed cutting through the air like the blades of a helicopter. This is a new way of playing with clips of natural history film. The piece is just three or four minutes long. Putting it together, the sound and pictures, took one man four months. It was shown for the first time at a rave party in Norfolk earlier this month. When I first got into visuals, I wanted to make people go like that, and they did. <laughs> so it was like, it's one of the best things I've done, yeah. It's always in the sort of cracks and margins that are left by big companies and big commercial organisations that I think the interesting stuff is happening. And if, if, you, get, if you get dragged into the large sort of corporate mentality and, and way of working, you don't have time or you don't meet the sort of people who are generating all these new ideas. And that's what excites us. It's not the money. It's the, it genuinely is the ideas and the potential of what can be done. These maverick companies seem to offer an alternative to the bigger media players. And with them comes an ironic awareness of how fast things are developing. This company is called Obsolete and specializes in designing websites on the internet, screen pages for any individual or company. 
They have a client list that includes electronic magazines, record companies, nightclubs, art exhibitions, and as of this summer, Levi Jeans, a contract worth about a quarter of a million pounds. I think it's the attitudes that are new in it, in as much as the people involved are enthusiastic to interrelate their work with other people. Maybe obsolete will become five things or nothing. <laughs> Why? Because there is that flexibility. Yeah, I think so, definitely. I mean, I mean, we've been going a year and half if you really want to push it, but a year, really. And the changes that have occurred in that time are extraordinary. Certainly, some of the new companies are now moving into television advertising and are using bigger and more expensive digital machines. The best known of these companies is Tomato. There are 10 members. Here are some of them, three Tomatoes to be exact, are making an ad for American TV in a London facilities house. To judge by their showreel, Tomato's experimental work involves a recognizable style, a blending of sound and images, often using typeface. The Tomato team includes two members of Underworld, a best-selling dance music act. I'd spent most of my time at college doing letterpress work, working with hot metal, making prints um, and writing. And I hadn't used a computer, didn't use a computer at all at college. Um, uh, and so um, when I went to, when, when we started to mount the very first foundations of it was me being put in a position where I sat in front of a computer and, and told them to, to make a record sleeve with it. And, and, and that was it, you know, it was, it was really exciting and I, I didn't know how to use it, I had to get someone to help me. <coughs> but I'd apply, I applied those, think, those method, methods of thinking, you know, standing at a press, you know, arranging type on a, on a flat bed, uh, you can apply those methods of thinking to a, a piece of kit like a Mac. The TV ad being made here by Tomato was for an American client and for an American ad agency. It's a unique situation here in London where you get a group of guys who all do a lot of different uh, things from music to design to film to whatever, uh, all as a collective. I don't think we have that to my knowledge in the States. I mean, it's, it's kind of a unique, unique thing. I mean, that's why we're here. Hi, I'm not at home right now. Please leave a message. Is any of this art? Well, some of it is already getting into galleries, including a current show at the Barbican in London. And later this month, London's Institute of Contemporary Arts will, for the second year, award prizes for experimental work in art and technology. Nicholas Glass, a look again at tonight's headlines. Government ministers may ban the ownership of handguns in the...